If you are always in the cycle of having goals but not being consistent or disciplined enough to reach those goals, the first step is to reset your life by creating proper systems. Think about all the greatest world-class athletes, actors and actresses, and CEOs. They all had systems that led them to success. And that's what I realized about a week ago when I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have pretty much anything in place. I feel like I'm a driven person, but what am I driven by? Because we as humans, we do not rise to the level of our goals. We actually fall to the weakness of our systems. Some people call these systems a routine, which is just a sequence of actions taken regularly, aka a fixed program. For example, Serena Williams, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., would always practice on the court. And she went to the courts two hours before each game to make sure that she was in the right headspace, she did her practices so that she could perform the best when the game came. Famous entrepreneur Leila Hermosi literally starts work at 5 a.m. and wakes up at 4. We all know what action in our morning, afternoon, and night would be the most effective so we have the best energy, sleep, performance, and brain function. The best way to fully execute and develop is writing down what your ideal day would look like in time blocks. Some of the biggest high performance forwards today such as Bill Gates and Elon Musk use time blocking. Whether you like them or not, you gotta admit, made some pretty huge contributions across the world with their well-arranged time. Time blocking is simply just a time management technique that involves scheduling specific times for different tasks, activities, or goals throughout the day or throughout the week. So an example of one looks like this. And the best way to take action on this is to write down your ideal routine every day and actually follow it. Moving to the next tip is actually setting non-negotiables in your day, aka an action system. I like to call this boundaries for yourself and your schedule. For example, something that is helping me so much right now with my consistency and discipline is a 90-day Queen's Project Challenge that I created myself. And here are some of the non-negotiables that are in the challenge. One, at least 45 minutes of physical activity every day. Number two, one serving of fruit and an actual clean diet to follow. Number three, one post a day. Number four, 10 pages of a book. Number five, one page of journaling and plan the day ahead. Number six, one project to create and build. Now, if you are somebody that wants to accelerate their growth even more or even join the 90 Day Queens Project, make sure to click the link in my description. Make sure to join my free success community with over 2,000 members. We keep each other encouraged, positive, and inspired. And I'm in there a lot too. So I'd love to see you son. Which actually leads me perfect to my next point, which is having an account accountability system. Honestly, we live in such a generation of loaders and people wanting to be independent. And like, I understand to a certain extent, but for everything, especially in your growth journey, it is tough. And the truth is nobody has created anything great by themselves or without another person. Some of the largest companies today are founded by multiple people. And of course, to this day are still ran by multiple people as well. And according to the American Society of Training and Development Study, you were 95% more likely, 95% more likely to succeed by directing accountability to a third party. But it's also not just about having an accountability source, but having it in a right way. What the heck does that mean? A lot of people don't understand that accountability is love. Let's say you have a friend that wants to eat healthy, be healthy, and lose 75 pounds. But you see that she is missing gym sessions and is having a lot of sessions eating fast food. You saying, hey, I thought you had this vision. I thought you had this goal for your life. I thought you wanted more for yourself. What happened with your goals? That is a form of love. That is you holding her up to the standard that you know would give her a happier and healthier life that she has always desired. And you know as a friend that her taking care of herself right now is actually going to make sure that she has long-term health. Don't just have accountability partners just so that you can say it. Actually have your accountability partners set yourself to a high standard that you set for yourself and actually be truthful to you in times where you do have to look for improvement. But also something that has helped me a lot is actually having tools to be accountable because there's actually something called the Ziegernick effect, which states an unfinished task will stay on top of your mind because we know we have left it incomplete. A lot of people have to-do lists or agendas or calendars or whatever. My favorite method of tracking is using a habit tracker. I have one in my digital life mastery journal. Something about just seeing my habits get done 
makes my soul glow. You know what I mean? When in actuality, that is just a dopamine that releases from our brain. When we complete those individual tasks, it actually allows a compound effect of feelings of happiness, pleasure, and more motivation. All in all, accountability is love to others, but also is love to yourself. You keeping your word to yourself on the things that you said you were gonna do is a high form of self-love because you're starting to build trust with yourself that way and your actions will result in a greater life that you deserve. The next tip I have for you when it comes to resetting your life by using systems is have an emotional system. I literally have not heard anybody talk about this. Think about it. Humans are emotional creatures. I don't care if you are a woman or a man. Dallas Research has actually found that about 70% of all decisions are made by emotional factors and only 30% are based on rational factors. So instead of letting your emotions use you, why not use your emotions to get ahead? Because I'm gonna be honest, just like I said, the growth journey is not gonna be easy. On the path of getting to that next level, you are gonna be hit with storms and whole bunch of unideal situations that you never thought would come on your path. And sometimes you're gonna feel like you're being buried when in actuality, you're being planted to greatness. And instead of you going through adversity and you saying, why me? You're gonna say, try me. It actually reminded me in a book that I'm reading, it's called The 177 Mental Toughness Secrets of the World Class. I highly recommend this book, by the way, it has the best gems. And it really only takes two pages a day because it separates each secret by page. I'll put it in the description if you wanna go ahead and get it. But in the book, it said, I'm reading my notes right here. The real distinction between amateur leaders and pros is that amateurs motivate through logic and the great ones motivate through emotion. The first way you can use your emotions as a system to lift you up is create a vision and why behind your goals and for your life. This vision and why should light your soul on fire. It should literally fill your body up with so much excitement and purpose that you don't know what to do with yourself. Because when days are tough and you do not want to keep going, you can reference back to your why and your vision to remind you that the reason you started and will continue to keep going is because of a bigger purpose that is way bigger than you. The reason you started is for a way bigger purpose than what you're feeling right now or the slight fleeting sad or angry moment that you're feeling right now. Because feelings are fleeting. Sad and mad and angry emotions can sidetrack you a lot from your goals. So using those emotions to actually incite positive change in your life is exactly what's going to help you push forward. Second to using your emotions is that when you are feeling down or you feel lost, whatever that it is, have a set of actions that will actually get you out of that state. And for me, I was feeling a loss on, you know, what direction I kind of wanted to go. So I actually created a solution that would get me out of that field. Being creative personally helps me get out of negative feelings. Working out and journaling actually does too. And scientifically, working out does help you relieve stress. So that's something that could on your list as well. Make sure to actually find a route that promotes wellness as well because a lot of people have their routes to just destructive things like drugs or alcohol and actually gives them less clarity or just suppresses the feeling so you gotta ask yourself this question as well is is this actually solving a problem and is it promoting a healthy lifestyle long term the next tip i have for resetting your life is making the decision to commit. A lot of people cannot even get to this point, but I know you can if you just put your money into it, okay? You have to decide if you are interested or if you are committed on your growth journey. The difference between interested people and committed people is interested people do what's convenient, but committed people do whatever it takes. It's very convenient to not go to the gym and neglect your nutrition, not build your brand, and not work towards your goals. Very convenient stuff. On the other side of convenience is missed opportunity in not being great or having great. And decision actually comes from the root word decide, and it's actually a Latin word, which sounds like sadre. And sadre actually means cut off. You have to cut out the identity of your old self that is not serving you on your journey to allow space for a new version of yourself. Because life is seriously just all about being and becoming. It's just all about operating and identifying as your highest being and continuing to elevate. Now that you have learned how to reset your life using systems, the next step is to learn how to stay focused and stay productive so that you can go ahead and achieve more. Watch this video where I tell you exactly how to do just that and also maximize your results. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video.